Hi, my name's Andy. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you my setup for bikepacking the world on an extremely low budget. The stuff that I'm going to show you, most of it costs less than $100. I bought most of it secondhand. I will show you the tent, the bike, cooking gear, and uh, throw in a few extra tips and tricks that could help you when you're planning your overseas adventure. So this here is all the gear we take with us when we travel on the aircraft. We have our personal gear and clothes, things like that, just carry it in a backpack. And then the bike packing gear, we pack down into this package so that it can fly on the aircraft as checked baggage. It doesn't cost any extra to transport your bike and gear like this. I've done it plenty of times. It takes a little bit of effort. So in here we've got our bike, tent, cooking gear, tools, and various other things that we need for our bike packing adventure. I'm gonna go ahead now and unpack these packages and put the bikes together and get our setup ready for another bike tour. Well, there it is. Okay, you can see the bike there. There's some tools. Sleeping bag. My coffee cup. Oh, here's the tent. You can see how tightly I packed it all in there. So I took the bike down into small enough pieces to fit it in to the package um, for the airline regulations. So it did mean taking it apart, at least into pieces that are easy to handle. All right, let's separate this stuff out so you can have a good clear look at it. So the whole bike is wrapped in a tarpaulin and then that tarpaulin is wrapped in packaging tape. And around the bike here I've packed the tent fly. That's my bike lock. You need to take a really good bike lock if you're relying on traveling by bicycle you want to make sure that it's not going to get stolen. Sunscreen. Spending a lot of time out in the sun, you need that. Some tools. There's quite a lot of tools there. Rope, can opener, a knife. Things that you can't take in the cabin on the airline. You've got to pack that stuff. There's my sleeping bag. Got a bit of glue from the tape stuck to it, no. Oh well. Here's our stove, that's a pretty good camping stove. You can just get gas canisters for that anywhere in the world. That's my preferred stove to travel with. It packs down so small that you can put it in your pocket. Bike pump. Here's our handlebars there, and front rack. Tent pegs. My sleeping bag bag. Knife. flops all right now we're just left with the bike here let's go ahead and put it together 
I've taken these bikes apart and rebuilt them multiple times. Everywhere from bus stations to under bridges to busy airports, the process is always the same. It's important not to lose any of the small parts. That's where working on the tarpaulin comes in handy. Now that we've finished putting the bikes back together, it's time to pack them up, put our gear on board and get ready for a cycle adventure. The first thing I like to take along is the tent. Now this tent I bought second hand, cost me $5 from a second hand shop and I've had it for about five years. This bike here actually cost me $20. I actually bought two of them for $40. I used tire tube rubber to secure everything to the bike. All right, let's go ahead and pack this bike up and get it ready to hit the trail. The process for packing the bikes is the same anywhere in the world. Any extra groceries we usually add to the front bag on my bike or we just hang them in a shopping bag on the handlebars. We always make sure we take enough water for our journeys. It's very important to stay hydrated on long rides, especially when you're outside of any cities for a very long time. It can get quite hard to find water. Sometimes though, we have the opposite problem and we just can't escape the rain. Really starting to rain, oh my goodness. <sighs> Drop my beer. Let's get undercover. Oh my goodness, oh, it's really coming down. I'm going to move my bike in here and take some shelter from the rain because it is absolutely whiz. Okay, here's a thunderstorm. I'm taking shelter under this tall tree. I'm not sure this is a smart move. The camera's getting really soaked. I'm going to have to turn it off. I'm getting out from under those tall trees. There's just lightning crashing around me. <laughs> well now. I want to take this moment to give a shout out to all of you guys who have supported the channel. Thank you very much. Enjoy the adventures. Keep riding and living free. And I'll see you in the next episode.